BP Brands is one of the biggest uh, wines and spirits companies in Southeast Europe. We are definitely the biggest on the Balkans. At the moment, we have about seven production facilities in Bulgaria, uh, and we're one of the few spirits production companies with 100% vertical integration for white spirits. We have one of the most modern distilleries on the Balkans, which covers 100% of our needs for ethanol, and about 50% of our ethanol production is also for export, as we work with one of the biggest companies in Europe. And this gives us the advantage to control the whole process from the grain through the distillation to the final product. And I believe that's one of our strongest advantages compared to any other spirits production company. At the moment, we're working at quite a lot of interesting projects uh, in terms of research and development and development, not only new products, but also new categories and extensions of our existing brands. Our main focus is Flirt Vodka, and that has been our flagship brand, uh, which we're pushing internationally with actually quite a lot of success. Uh, one of the new developments we're planning is a special limited edition, which will be designated exclusively for the Duty Free Channel in a packaging and proposition that has not been seen yet in the industry. So we're quite excited about that and we hope that by May, which is the next TFWA event in Singapore, we'll be ready to present it to a wider audience. The biggest challenges in the travel retail, I would say, are not limited only to us, but they're more or less uh, universal for the industry. Uh, the biggest challenges, I would say, are the developed markets, uh, Western Europe, the US, where actually the travel retail has changed quite, quite a lot. And probably one of the biggest challenges is the limited view of the, of the operators about the variety of the brands they should keep in the outlets. And the new consumers, the new age of consumers are much more dynamic in terms of uh, looking for new exciting brands that are not part of the status quo, of the known premium segment. And the biggest challenge is probably convincing some of the operators and some of the suppliers that new existing brands should be added to the portfolio and the bigger variety actually will give them better leverage. The biggest opportunities for us are definitely the emerging markets. And the challenges that we're facing in Western Europe actually turn into an opportunity and advantage for us in the developing markets. Uh, where in certain areas, uh, operators are much more open to, to new brands and brands that are with exceptional price quality ratio. A uh, ratio that gives uh, the new age consumer the advantage to try something new, but something at much more affordable price.